Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Donna. And I'm Danny. And together, we, we are, are forever, forever dreaming. dreaming. Take it away, babe. Thanks, okay. Chairs. This is the chair we've been traveling with for comfort. And it's got some cool features. It's got some shocks here that help it to rock. It has a cup holder and it folds up, but when it folds up, it's pretty tall. We can sit in it upright. We can rock in it. The rocking's kind of cool. Nice cup holder. You have a strap so you can carry it, but it's kind of heavy. It's been nice for the comfort, but it takes up a lot of space. And like now with this new design of our truck camper on our truck, we're storing this chair, if we take it, back in here. So that's kind of awkward to put it away. We tried to use a small chair. This is the small chair that we got. And we still carry it for the dog or if people come over and want to sit at our campsite, we got a place for them to sit. So it has the cover and then it has this. And then you have to put all these in and you can tell the bottom of it is where the rubber feet are. So you need to twist it. So all the bottoms there that goes at the top. So you put this here and then you stretch to try. Nah, I'm not messing with that. Okay. <laughs> not going to use that little chair anymore. I'm tired of it. So t -Set contacted us and asked us if we wanted to try their rise light chair and it's an adjustable height chair. I will show you all the other benefits of it. We'll be right back. Regardless of what chair we use, we have to put them away at night because it could rain, there could be a lot of wind. In the morning, even if there's no rain, there's a lot of dew. So we put our chairs away at night. We need something that's easy. So this is the T-Sec Rise Light chair. Like I said, it has an adjustable height. It is made of aircraft grade aluminum. It is waterproof. The fabric on here is tear resistant. It holds up to 230 pounds. It has anti-slip rubber feet. And it's one piece that just closes up with a strap. It has a bag that's big enough that you don't have to struggle to get it in there. You just get it started. Voila, it's done. Some of the chairs, you fight with them to get them in the bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how long it takes to set it up, and I'm gonna put a timer somewhere around here so you guys can keep track of how long it takes. So we take it out of the bag, let it fold open, and then there's four legs. The two back legs have two things that need to be clicked in, and the front legs have one. And we're done. That is so much quicker than that other chair where you've got to put the top on it. I love the one piece, kind of like an umbrella. It just spreads out. It has these mesh panels in here so that when it's really hot outside, you can still get some air and not get all sweaty. And it's pretty comfortable. It's more of a um, leaning back, not so much a sit forward type chair. My old one is a little bit more like a sit forward, but this is really comfortable sitting like this. It has a pocket on the side, on the right side, so you can stick the bag in there. If you're not using your phone, it, it would fit your phone too. It's a pretty big pocket. So this is one height. So to change the height, there is a button on the bottom right there. You push that button and you have to make sure not to pinch your fingers. So I kind of hold the legs out while I'm pushing it. Push it in and then it will spread out some more so that it's sitting at a lower height, like that. So yeah, I'm a little bit lower to the ground. So let me put it back up to the higher height because I would like for Danny to try it. Come over here, hon. Have a seat. I'm the test model. <laughs> It's actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, it really is. Huh. And at night, if it starts raining or during the day, if it starts raining, you got to put your chairs up real quick. That is zip, zip, zip. It's done. So far, I'm 6'1", 222 pounds, maybe. So 
It's hitting me fine. I actually kind of like how it leans back a little bit. Yeah, it's more relaxing. Yeah. I like our rocking chairs because I like to rock, but this is pretty nice. Yeah, this chair would be great for outside concerts, hiking, camping. I can see that. So if we're out camping somewhere and we want to go visit friends on the other campsite, oh, yeah. it's super easy. Just take it with us. It's better than taking the, the biggins. Right. It's pretty rugged. Yeah. Yeah, I can see you're moving around there, but it doesn't seem to be hurting anything. It's not, you can't do that with the other one. No. So it'd be okay putting a 20 pound dog on my lap. Yeah. I'm sitting on this, be, I think it would hold it fine. Oh yeah. I wanna thank all of our subscribers for helping to grow the channel. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you relevant content. Also hit that notify bell. While you're there, I'd love to hear your comments on an outside mat that's big enough to like do this area, maybe like a six by eight. If you guys have one that you're using, it would be great to hear your comments on what's worked for you and what hasn't worked for you. We had an AstroTurf big one and we've retired that one because it was just cumbersome and heavy. So we're looking for something that is lightweight, will fold up and stick in one of our cabinets, one of our outside compartments. So we'd love to hear your comments. For tent camping, we need to take as light a weight and as small a size as possible. What's cool, these chairs, they're less than five pounds each. So two chairs is less than 10 pounds, which is pretty nice. The size is 13.6 inches tall by 4.1 and 4.1. So that's pretty small. You could fit it in a backpack or throw it over your shoulder, whichever you prefer. So I think this would be a great chair to take hiking. If you wanted to go see a waterfall, or if you wanted to go see a lake and take a picnic and hang out for a little while, this would be an easy chair to just throw over your shoulder and take it with you. So you just put all the bars down like that and then fold them down while you push the button on the bottom. Be careful not to pinch your fingers and take this strap and wrap it around so the Velcro catches. And this is the easiest way I found to get it in the bag, but it slips in real easy. So go for going for a hike, you can either throw this over your shoulder or you could throw this over your shoulder. I prefer this one. <laughs> This is a lot lighter. The only thing that you might find negative about this chair is there's no cup holder. However, I use a Stanley, so there's no chair that was, is going to hold a cup this heavy, I don't think. But it's a nice height for the table. You can just set your chair right next to a table and just use that. You'll need the table for other things anyway. So if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, check out the link in the description. And there will be a link to their Rise Light chair made by T-Sec, T-C-E-K. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'd love to hear a comment about any RV floor mat that works for you. Thanks. Bye.